Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Lee Won Xiang. I'm from Utah and I am also the KLSF Secretariat. Welcome to today's workshop, Chemistry in Daily Life. How to make homemade marmalis. Thank you for taking time out and being here today. If you get disconnected, please join back using the link. If you have any questions, please leave them into the chat box. Participants will be given a brief introduction to kitchen chemistry and a demonstration in making marmalis using simple and healthy ingredients. Marmalis is a combination of egg yolks, acid and oil, worked together until they are emulsified. Okay, so now I would like to introduce our speaker today, Dr. Tay Lai Ho. He participated as a STEM workshop trainer since 2014 under KLSF and Utah. Experience as kitchen chemistry demonstrator to the local community at local public and private school and distinguished science fair events such as Penang International Science Fair and the Kuala Lumpur Engineering Science Fair. So now without further ado, we will turn the time over to Dr. Te. Thank you. Nineteen hundred. Uh, so this is where the start of this uh, popular commercial brand, uh, Hellman. So the German immigrant, uh, called Richard Hellman. So he uh, moved to uh, New York City, and then he opened up his delicatessen, and then his wife made this a uh, homemade mayonnaise, uh, and then it became very popular. So later on, Hellman uh, packing their mayonnaise in glass jar. So 1930, uh, their first factory is it at Austria, uh, Austria. So this is the, uh, the first uh, commercial mayonnaise. Uh, next slide. Okay, then later 1932, uh, another company known as Bass Food lah, in California acquired the Hellman brand. Then later on, of course, there are more variations. Of uh, beside that, uh, variation of mayonnaise also is actually being uh, produced by different companies. So in 1933, by this uh, National Dairy Product Corporation. And then, of course, later on, uh, it acquired by Kraft. Uh, so then later, uh, Kraft do actually produce their own dressing as well, called as the uh, Miracle Whip salad, salad dressing. So all these are come, uh, they're, 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 well, the background of phenomenon called is the using emulsification. Uh, next slide. Now, raw material uh, for making a mayonnaise, you see. Now, mayonnaise is actually regulated by US FDA. Uh, so, therefore, they claim, you see, it must contain at least 65% oil and then combination of vinegar and egg or egg yolk. Uh, because you may find out that uh, if you search through Google, you know, uh, Quite a lot of uh, recipe these days, uh, they actually use a combination of uh, the whole egg white and egg yolk, you see. Uh, but the standard classic one, uh, they use egg yolks. Uh. And then the FDA standard uh, identified the requirement for a salad dressing at 30% of vegetable oil, 4% egg yolk, and then you have vinegar or lemon juice and spices. Uh, then soybean oil uh, is the most common type of oil for mayonnaise production. And then vinegar 
it's up to you. Generally, it will be distilled from a distilled alcohol. If yeah, sometimes there are some recipes. You see, if you want a more flavor type, you can use a wine vinegar. And of course, uh, if you use uh, lemon instead of uh, vinegar, then you dilute it with water. Uh, next slide. Now, mayonnaise alternative. Uh, this is we talk about those who are um, for people, you see, who or consumer uh, who have problem with uh, eggs. So because sometimes we talk, we know that some people, you see, they are allergic to egg, or maybe a vegan. Uh, or sometimes if we try to uh, avoid uh, animal fat or cholesterol, you see, so egg-free variety of mayonnaise is, is have been introduced in the market. Uh, so this alternative uh, cannot be labeled as mayonnaise because the FDA, uh, especially the US FDA, so they claim that you know mayonnaise have to be, uh, or, or if you want to make it, you require egg. So you cannot use them as mayonnaise, uh, call them. Uh, so you need to call them something else. Uh, so therefore, egg-free varieties are generally contain uh, soy or soya, or even pea protein uh, as the emulsifying agent to, to stabilize the oil droplet in the water. Uh, because if we talk about just now, you see, lachitin, you see, uh, so we know that uh, soya and pea protein, you see, do have this uh, lachitin. You see. Okay, uh, next slide. Now, well-known brand uh, include uh, this one, Nasoya Neonis, and then we have Veginase, and then just Mayo as well. Those are in North America. And then Plant Mayo Egg Free. Uh, this one is uh, introduced in the United Kingdom. So these are the uh, alternative. Okay, if you look at the nutritional information, uh, so typical formulation for not or non-low-fat mayonnaise, uh, so we can see that 80% of it is, is actually vegetable oil. Uh, so it could be sub soybean or it could be olive oil. So water is around seven to eight percent. Egg yolk about six percent. So remaining ingredient will be vinegar, four percent, salt one percent, sugar one percent. Uh, as for those low fat, you see, oil will be reduced to fifty percent, and then water will increase to thirty five percent, and then egg content will reduce to four percent, and then vinegar to three percent. And then sugar increased to 1.5% and salt lower to 0.7%. Of course, because when we try to reduce the amount of egg content, you see, uh, you may afraid, you see, the, the thickening uh, will not occur, you see, or the emulsification. So therefore, gum or thickeners, uh, around 4%, you see, will be added uh, to increase the viscosity of it uh, to ensure a stable emulsion. Uh. Uh, well, this is this is basically the general information uh, we said. Now, on average, uh, mayonnaise contain around seven hundred kilocalorie uh, per hundred grams, so about approximate ninety four kilocalorie or big C, uh, you call it the big cow per tablespoon. Uh, so mayonnaise is actually uh, calorically dense food. So therefore, is it? Uh, we, if we look at the uh, the nutritional facts, uh, a small amount of it is actually okay, like good for health. But if you consume large amount of it, then it might not be a good idea. But anyway, this is actually a healthy food, lah. Okay, uh, next slide. So the nutrient, you see, uh, this one is another important fact. You see, nutrition, uh, the nutrient contained within the mayonnaise uh, because they have oil, salt, sugars, and so on. This is actually a suitable. Uh, as a food source uh, for many uh, bacteria, or we call it as a spoilage organism. So one example is, is actually mold, uh, because uh, if we leave it for too long, you see, you will see that a mold, you see, is actually part of the come will, will spores, you see. So this mold, you see, is actually part of yeast family. Now, because we know that yeast is actually uh, uh, what well, in the daily products, you see, or eggs content, all these things, you see, do have mold. Uh. Now. Yeah, if we consume it, accidentally consume them, uh, then it's actually bad for our health. Like, then you have diarrhea and so on. So therefore, you see, a set of condition uh, such as pH between 3.6 and 4, uh, low water activity, you see, will restrict this type of uh, their growth. Uh, because, and then, of course, when we talk about low pH, uh, so therefore, you see, why we are using uh, vinegar or lemon juice, uh, so that you're actually reducing the pH. And then low water activity, where we have a high amount of percentage of oil, 
Uh, so you are restricting, you see, oxygen uh, entering, you see. Uh, so therefore, this is one of the uh, example of the, uh, the what you're creating a condition, you see, where more or bacteria uh, will hardly grow. Now, it doesn't mean that they will not grow, but it's just that you're restricting them. So therefore, you see, our homemade uh, mayonnaise, you see, uh, can last up to about three to five days maximum. Uh, so do not uh, leave it more than three to five days uh, in your refrigerator. So if you're more than three to five days, you see, please dispose them. Uh, another thing, another important thing, facts are about these uh, mayonnaise is that our egg, you see, if you have, uh, if you're using the pure raw egg, you see, uh, you need to be very careful. Uh. So therefore, uh, usually people tend to use pasteurized eggs, uh, or else uh, another type of bacteria called salmonella. You see, uh, those are nasty uh, bacteria, uh, not a very good to our guts. You see, uh, so therefore we need to be very careful as well. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, now, uh, just now when we talk about immersible, see, this is actually uh, something to share with you guys. Lah. So this is a French dressing, so a liquid suspended in a liquid. So it's actually made from oil and vinegar. So those who, who are interested, lah, you can actually make it at home. So these are the list of the ingredients. Lah. So you have vinegar, salt, cooking oil, and then most important is the whisk. Uh, and then magnifying glass is like scientists lah, or researcher where you can play around. Try to see, see whether your oil droplet is uh, large droplet or smaller droplet. Now, it's the same as later on, you see, when you try to make mayonnaise. Now, when you're making your mayonnaise, you see, you want to ensure a smaller droplet. You usually tend to uh, pour your oil yeah, into your mixture a little bit and a little bit, you see, so that slow, and then you whisk your, your sample, your mixture. And then after that, you add a little more, uh, pour a little bit more oil into your mixture, and then you keep stirring it. Uh, so that's that's where you can actually producing smaller droplet. Uh, so if you like suddenly you pour the whole loads of this oil into your mixture, is it? And then you find out that the um, well the so called droplet uh, will become bigger and bigger. Uh, so this is actually uh, a method that uh, we can try to minimize the uh, droplet size of the oil's droplet size. Uh, uh, next slide. So these are actually the uh, the fresh dressing uh, method or protocols. Uh, or procedure uh, so it's very simple like uh, just oil and then pour in the uh, uh into the plastic container and then you mix with the vinegar and then leave it mix uh stand well mixture stand for a few minutes and then you beat them about five minutes and then you quickly pour this mixture into a jar uh, and then after that you can uh, use it anytime you want uh, or else you can just keep it in the fridge so of course you can season with salt so it's up to your preference uh. Okay, so basically this is the fresh dressing. It's a very simple uh, menu or recipe, I'll say. Uh, next slide. Okay, now mayonnaise. Uh, so this mayonnaise, uh, this is what, the, uh, well, we hope some of you uh, actually do prepare some of those ingredients because this ingredient, uh, Miss Lee already shared with you all in the Microsoft team. Uh, so where you can actually you know, prepare your own uh, mayonnaise. So it's actually a very fast uh, recipe, I would say. It won't take you more than eight minutes, 10 minutes, or le even lesser, you see, if you're using hand uh, well, mixture see, or hand blender, uh, hand help blender. So ingredients that you require, you see, one egg yolk, half a cup of oil, so it's approximate 100 to 120 ml, uh, one teaspoon of vinegar, so any type of vinegar, so it's up to you, you see. Um, so, of course, you can use some, some may ask, you see, oh, I want to use uh, apple cider vinegar. Yes, you may do so, you see. Or you, I think one of the good suggestions, uh, some from the internet, you see, as I said, as stated, you see, you can actually try to buy wine vinegar. Uh, it's not very expensive, so, so you can actually use that as well. And then salt for seasoning. And of course, you need bowl and a whisk or blender. Uh, because as I uh, mentioned, you see, to prepare a good mayonnaise, you see, you need Two important things. One is the egg yolk, and then second thing is the whisk or blender, uh, because you need the muscle power uh, or, or machine, you see, uh, to help you to uh, blend it to 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 break or introduce uh, a into your your mixture as well to mix them. Uh. Okay, uh, next slide. And then these are the uh, ingredient or the procedure. Uh, so, of course, most important thing, you have all the ingredients at room temperature. 
Uh, and then your eggs, uh, as I stated, uh, if possible, you pasteurize your egg. If you cannot get a pasteurized egg from the supermarket, I think it's been quite difficult, uh, unless I'm not sure about in KL or Penang. Uh, but if, let's say, you cannot buy a pasteurized egg, you can make your own pasteurized eggs. So what happens is that you can get this um, by a, a boiler, and then where you can set your temperature, is it, let's say, around 63 degrees for 15 minutes. So make you see an important note, sir. Make sure the temperature not above sixty five because if it's too high, your egg will start cook. You see, it become coagulation uh, of the egg white well, uh, and the egg as well. And then if your temperature too low, uh, lower than sixty three or around let's say lower than sixty, uh, then you may prevent you see adequate pasteurization or food safety. Uh, so it's somewhere around sixty two, sixty three lah. Okay, so once you pasteurize your egg, then the most important thing is you separate it, uh, because what we uh, what what we're trying to do is is using the egg yolk. You see. Okay, then we'll put the yolks uh, egg yolk uh, and then mix it about a teaspoon uh, or two point five ml of vinegar. Now, if you're using lemon juice, same amount. Of course, if you want, if you have a very concentrated, you can dilute it. Uh, so let's say in general. Uh, uh, volume around 2.5 mil. So, of course, before you start mix time, you can start beating your egg yolk first. So, until like a uh, bubble, bubbleish. And then, after that, you once you add your vinegar, and then you keep beating the uh, mixture until the egg yolks become sticky. Now, eventually, you see, if you are doing your uh, mayonnaise, and you find out that it will become uh, you, you you feel you see the egg yolk will slowly become sticky from a very liquid form uh, because this is one reason is that the um, behind uh, theory behind is that vinegar is it start breaking down the protein you see in our egg yolks okay so after that you see you gradually add your oil uh, we continuously and vigorous mixing so the mayonnaise uh, will take it as you continue to mix it uh, so of course, at the end, you see you can season it with salt and then mix with uh, mix with another mix minutes. Uh. Then at the end, you can actually uh, keep them in a sterile jar or plastic uh, container and so on. You see in the fridge. Uh, so it's up to you. See whenever that you, uh, you feel like eating it, you see uh, help yourself lah to to eat it lah. Okay, that's that's basically the uh, one of the simplest form. Okay, then of course this is a thousand island dressing uh, which later on you see we will um, show you as well uh, how you're going to make it it's actually very simple uh, recipe now if we talk about the introduction uh, so again thousand island you see is actually uh, an american salad dressing uh, based on mayonnaise uh, where that can include olive oil lemon juice mustard vinegar chili sauce or tomato puree ketchup or even some you see they even add tabasco sauce uh, because they want the spicy taste you see and of course it also typically uh, contain finely chopped ingredients uh, such as the uh, pickles onions uh, olive green olive uh, or hard boiled egg parsley garlic or even chopped nut so it's up to your preference uh, so whichever that you want you see so of course, if we talk about Thousand Island again, origin uh, come from uh, these uh, United what, States as well, from the America as well. So is uh, there is one area? Uh, it's a small particular town uh, or area, is it? Uh, so this is where it actually origin there uh, from that area. Uh, next slide. Okay, so these are the uh, gen generally uh, the ingredient, and then you have a half cup mayonnaise. So if you follow the uh, procedure the, the ingredient uh, just now you see the homemade one so you can actually directly you see convert it uh, from mayonnaise to become thousand island dressing so again you have a half cup mayonnaise then you have two tablespoons of ketchup two tablespoons approximately uh, sweet pickle ra radish or relish eh, radish and then two teaspoon of the uh, diced onion and then you have a quarter teaspoon of mixed garlic and then one teaspoon of white vinegar, and then uh, one or eight teaspoon of salt. So basically, it's more like for seasoning as well. 
method procedure. So add all ingredients uh, to a small bowl and mix well. And then taste and add the additional salt if desired. So refrigerate for at least an hour to allow the flavors to melt. And then you may serve it. So of course, for Thousand Island, uh, the most important thing is keep them in refrigerated. Uh, so if they're cold, you see, uh, then your Thousand Island dressing uh, will become much more delicious and ticklish. Okay, so of course, again, uh, because we are not adding any preservative, so maximum one week. Uh, so do not keep them more than a week uh, because all else, again, uh, for food safety. Uh, so you don't want any bacteria or, or nasty pathogens uh, uh, disrupt our gut, you see. Okay, uh, that's it, I think. For all these uh, general introduction uh, about some history uh, and then uh, about these uh, ingredient, list of ingredients, and then even the uh, procedure, uh, how you prepare it. Now, actually, you see, I already do some pre record uh, video, you see, for how to make the mayonnaise. Now, because my line, you see, is a bit quite bad, but I'm not sure whether I can share it or not. But uh, anyway, um, the video is actually within. Yes, Sian, what happened? Yeah, raise hand. Yes. Um, yeah, please uh, give your comment. Yes, Sian. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, uh, oh, accident press it. Okay, then. All right, all right. Sure, no problem. Um, let's see, my foul. Okay, uh, I'll double check whether you see whether it work or not. Okay, uh, let me tap to return. I'll see whether I can share with you guys. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Email channel. Uh, Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Okay, now my, uh, let's see. I'll try to see what I, what I can do. Okay. Uh, we're stuck here to this uh, screen cancer. Okay. All right, now my um, okay, now my I already shared the uh, the video. Lah in the uh in the microsoft team there so you guys just can just click it lah, and then have a look at it uh, so that process will just take you about five six minutes okay now uh just wondering so how many of you are actually making your own mayonnaise yeah or well, any one of you actually have your have prepared the ingredients and then uh, start whisking it or or beating it
Okay, prepare the ingredient, but not yet start. All right, um, yeah, you can actually try, try anyway, uh, make it. Lah. Um, so I, I saw your video at the Teams, I downloaded. Do, um, do you want me to play it? Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, please. Okay, then I share screen one moment, uh, everyone. Okay, um, yeah, the person inside is, is actually my, wife. <laughs> my beautiful assistant. <laughs> All right, now uh, we can see here, this step is, is actually uh, start beating the egg yolk. So we have already separated the egg yolk and the egg white. Uh, so therefore, you see, uh, it's a very simple ingredient and procedure. Lah. Everyone can do it. Uh, so now we can see that the uh, you start actually uh, beating the egg yolk and then you make it like a little bit of bubbles. So just like actually you are cracking the egg yolk. Then after that, you see, you should then add the vinegar. So the vinegar, you can use any vinegar, any vinegar like commercial vinegar type. So the one that we use is a distilled vinegar. So one teaspoon on it. So you don't need a lot of it. So after you add in the vinegar, keep uh, you beat what well, mix what well, beat uh, your egg yolk, you see, until you what well, you will feel that it become uh, thickening. So of course, if you have handheld blender, see, it will take much faster. Uh, so rather than about five, six minutes, maybe you will finish everything around three, four minutes. Uh. All right, so once the uh, egg yolk uh, become uh, thickening with the vinegar, then you add your oil, you see. Slowly you add it, and then you keep well, beating it. Uh, until every oil, your oil, you see, uh, all your oil been actually uh, poured into your mixture. Uh, and then you keep beating it vigorously at the end, then you will have your own mayonnaise.
Okay, I think that's it. So once all your oil is it been actually poured into it, and then you can at the end, you see, you just add salt to season it, lah. Uh, I think that's it. That's the rest of the movie, you see. So, uh, we can stop the uh, the movie clip. Lah. All right, now, uh, just wondering, how many of you all managed to uh, make the mayonnaise, you see? Now, just now, I think I uh, see one of the uh, participants. Uh. Okay, one, five, four, five, one. Uh, who was it? Not sure. But I hope you, uh, you already prepare your stuff. And then, uh, anyone else uh, actually uh, making your own mayo? Waiting my brother to come back and do the whisking for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, sure. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, continue. So, so I'll just take about one, two minutes uh, before we actually close off the uh, the show, you see. All right. Now, uh, I'll, I'll show you the uh, the one that I prepare. Uh, my wife prepared it. <laughs> the, uh, the mayo, uh, which is actually freshly prepared yesterday. Okay, I will, I will show you the mixture of all those things and then we'll create the uh, Thousand Islands uh, dressing. Uh, so it's actually quite straightforward, uh, say. not very difficult thing. Uh. Okay, I will, I will uh, try to uh, change the view of the video. So I hope that it won't uh, to be too laggy. Okay, let's see. All right, see so yeah, I can uh, end the view a bit. Okay, so basically all these are the general ingredients. Uh. You have your vinegar, uh, onion, and then you have garlic, salt, and then the pickles. And then, of course, this is the uh, prepared one, the mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'm going to mix everything. And then we have ketchup. Uh, so these are ketchup. So now my love, we, we use the uh, commercial one anyway. Okay, so the uh, this is a yesterday one we prepare. So we can see that uh, in we in well, after you keep in the fridge, uh, it will give you much better uh, results. You see. Okay, now we're gonna add in all these ingredients. So we have the pickle. And then we have the onion. And then we have the garlic. Okay, so basically we stir it. Uh, so just to make sure that all the uh, chopped fine ingredients uh, are actually mixed together with the uh, mayonnaise. Okay, now it looks like uh, those uh, slightly converting itself, uh, like those uh, McDonald's uh, special recipe. So in the now up to you, you see, I mean, if you want it to be more, um, if you prefer, or well, if you like, you see, or favor a lot of this uh, ketchup, you see, you can actually put a little bit more about it. But uh, for us, I think one pack or a small teaspoon of it, you see, will be fine. Okay, so the color is changing. Uh, so of course, it's up to you, you see, um, how much uh, the color and the flavor that you want. Uh, so this actually looks a bit quite similar as the um, the one that in the commercial available, and those general famous brand. And then of course uh, we can have add a little bit of vinegar. Uh, now vinegar, as we say, is it you can add as the uh, natural uh, preservative, or you may say flavoring as well to we'll give it the acidity. So uh, one teaspoon of it. And then again, mix it. Uh, now you can, uh, too bad, you see, those who actually, if you're preparing your own uh, mayonnaise or your own Thousand Island dressing, you see, you'll smell, you see, the nice um, well, acidity taste, you see, of this uh, vinegar, uh, so-called Thousand Island. Uh. 
Okay, so of course you may add a little bit of salt again. Just for once you actually mix, mix everything, you can again keep it in the cereal jar uh, or plastic container and then keep it in the fridge. If you want for a better results, you can actually keep it leave it for overnight. Uh, then after that, the next day, you see, uh, you can actually use your steaks and your french fries or whatever thing that you, you you can think of or even salad you see okay so that's it very simple straightforward not even take more than two minutes all right so very simple okay that's it you see quite straightforward direct uh is uh i think everyone can do it actually yeah all right so uh, so far, I think I only see uh, so one participant actually uh, planning to making it. So for the rest, you see, if you are planning to do so, you see, yeah, please help yourself get the ingredients. So it won't be very difficult as well to make it. It won't take you more than 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so then you can enjoy yourself for up to about five days to a week of your beautiful homemade sauce. You see. All right. Thank you very much to all of you. So now, if you have question, um, please pop your question to us. You see, in the Microsoft team, or you can actually uh, well, give a uh, PM us as well. And then, uh, yes, uh, I believe that uh, Miss Lee have some survey form. You see, for you guys to fill it up. Yeah, uh, please do so. Uh, so I believe uh, later on, uh, Miss Lee will uh, live with you all. Yes, uh, the video is uploaded at Teams. Uh, you may download and build it. Uh. Uh, so help yourself. All right. Uh, yep. Sorry for the uh, laggy connection. Uh, now can't blame me. So you are all these we can blame Telco. Uh, so we pay them so much money. They they give us this kind of service. All right. So uh, hope you all have a good time uh, and uh, and well a knowledgeable period of time as well. So yep. Take care. And then, uh, so I'll pass it back to uh, Miss Lee. Uh, Miss Lee, so or, uh, if you have anything that uh, to, to inform them or any information you want to give them. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Te. Okay. Um, I just posted the link. We have prepared the feedback form. We would appreciate if you can help us to fill up the feedback form so that we can improve. Okay. Um, do you have any question to ask Dr. Te? If you have any question, you can leave it at the chat here. Um, before uh, we end the workshop, we will wait for a while for the question. Um, in the meantime, I would like to promote about our competition, KLESF International Challenge. So one moment, I will share the screen. Uh, while waiting for the question, so now I promote it. Thank you. One moment. Okay. Um, every year we ha will have our physical event, but this year too bad we can't have our physical event. Hence, everything have to change to online, virtual event and so on. So for our annual competition, KLESF International Challenge 2020 will be changed to online video submission. So the details are uploaded to website. So how to go to website, our website through www.klesf dot net then you will see one tab klesf 2020 you find under klesf international challenge after that we'll bring you to the page so this is just a screenshot of the page this is the qr code for our link this page international challenge page so um, the deadline for submission is 15 november 2020 sunday 11.59 p.m. Okay. So, just some um, a brief, brief information about the competition. The competition 
as usual, we open to primary and secondary school students. For this year, the project teams are first is uh, the Sustainable Development Goal SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing. The next team is SDG Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities. Then the assessment criteria is the same, these four criteria, and we have the rubrics at the website too. Then come to the participation and rule. No fee will be charged for the participation and maximum three students per team. No limit uh, for the number of teams from each school. And then uh, each team have to submit their project in four video and so on. Okay, so I repeat again, the deadline for submission will be 15 November, Sunday, and the winner announcement will be on 20th December 2020. The exact time will be announced. Okay. So if you have any question, can um, contact Juan Azura, Juan Marian, and me. Uh, I'm Wen Xiang. Okay. So our contact also is available at the website. Okay. So this is our website, www.klesf.net. If you have any question, also can find us through our Facebook. Facebook page is KLESF Kuala Lumpur Engineering Science Fair. Okay. okay, so um any question from the audience okay. if you have tried uh, to make your own mayonnaise you may share the photo with us okay then Mm, hope you all can try your own mayonnaise. Let us know how it tastes. If you feel for first time, never mind. You can keep trying. Okay, so um, there is no question here. So I will just uh, repeat. Um, we appreciate if you could help us to fill up the feedback form. Okay, I posted the link again. I will appear, sorry. So this is the link. We appreciate if you could help us to fill up the form. And then um, just now what I promoted is for our competition, KLESF International Challenge 2020. Not only open for Malaysian students, we also open for overseas teams. Okay. Okay, so um, there is no question received. Okay, I would like to thank everyone for joining our workshop today. Thank you, our instructor, Dr. Tay. Thank you, his wife too, for appearing in the video. And then we, uh, we appreciate you being here. <laughs> thank you very much to all of you as well. <laughs> okay, thank you. So if you uh, make your money successfully, just share the photo with us, then we can share to our participants. Okay, so um, there is no question, so I will just uh, conclude here. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, that's all for today's workshop. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And thank have you. a nice day. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good chat as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, we will.